welcome back. In this video I want to cover several things so it'll be a little bit disjointed because what I'm really going to do is just mash it all together and I'm not going to spend much time editing. Vaillant got back to me about, about where to connect the temperature sensor from the cylinder and it normally connects to this connector in the hydraulic station. But they don't use this in the UK, they use it in Europe, so they said chop it off and just connect using a chalk block connector block. So that's what I've done. I've also got the flow and return holes drilled and lined with, I think it's Premier Pro sleeving. So that's ready for the flow and return pipes to come through. I'll, I'll take the camera out now and I'll show you the, the wall bracket and how I've done that. Okay, so there's the brackets up and there's the flow and return coming through the wall. I thought I could do it without taking down the flue, but I, I couldn't. The, there's a fixing top and bottom of each of these healthy brackets. And you want to go into brick, you don't want to go into mortar. So it was quite difficult to get a position that would allow me to do that. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with these these fixings that Hilti use, but they're they're 140 millimeter plastic wall plugs, and then you screw screw in these 140 mil screws bolts really, um, and you can see they. Yeah, you sort of assume they're going to be hammered, you'd hammer the plastic into the wall and then screw into it, but you don't. You hammer it through that rectangular washer. Uh, so there's 40mm off both the wall plug and the screw on the outside. That's okay because brick's only 100mm thick anyway, so there's no point in being more than 100 in the brick. Um, I also put a third bolt in, I don't know if you can see it there, in each bracket. Uh, and that is one of these here. It's a 10mm screw in bolt. So you drill a 10mm hole in your brick and you screw into it. This is one of my bricks. Problem is of course there's holes everywhere. So and you have no chance or, of determining where you're going to be. Ideally you'd want to be there, but probably not. Probably saws law in there. Anyway, that's that's the third fixing on each of those brackets above. The pipe here, this is actually a gas line. Ultimately that will be moved because I want to run the, the pipes across there and put um, pipe clips on. So that's the outside work done for now. Another thing to decide is how I interface the heat pump with the pipe work. The output port on the valent is a one and a quarter inch, G one and a quarter. So I plan to put a socket on, one and a quarter inch socket, a one and a quarter inch to one inch reducer, then one inch to 28 millimeter compression, 28 mil pipe, 45 degrees, 28 mil pipe, 45 degrees, then have the freeze valve and then the flexies. I don't want to have valves, isolation valves on the outside of the building. I want the isolation valves immediately we come into the garage. And that's simply for heat loss. So that's the plan unless I can be convinced otherwise. So um, that'll probably be the subject of the next video. Thanks and bye.